Third event on the program, class four again. Back to the 1200 metres though for the thirds. And uh, this one headed by Breeder Sky. They switch the headgear around here. Hood off, blinkers on for the first time. Barrier four, Caris Teton. Fantastic Fabio likes to roll. He'll come from Barrier 10. California Rad, runner up last time out behind. Good for you. That was here over course and distance. Compassion stars, the last start course and distance winner. Daily Delight makes his debut here for Douglas White and Blake Shin. We got uh, Clone, who was fourth last time out behind Shu Son, who runs later on. And Happy Projects, Happy Valley for the first time for him he'll jump from barrier number 11. Now as far as Chung Fa is concerned taking you further who's a winner this uh, sorry back in the last season Willful and Happy Projects have all been up at Chung Fa within the last 30 days. They should be res reasonably good here at Compassion Star Focus and they'll probably be joined by Fantastic Fabio who does have the, the blinkers off and I think all of his wins have been without the, the blinkers so that's interesting there with the 10 pound claim but again C plus 3 course 1200 metres start very short run to the first turn. Breeder Sky, California Rand, I think, mapped to get good runs just behind him with Destin Jewelry on the rail. Uh, California Red ran on Wednesday night and it was a really uh, tough run from him. He was wide all the way, but he managed to stick on and just got beaten a short head. As long as it hasn't taken out of him, and I can't see anything from there that suggests it has, uh, he, he'd be really tough to beat from his lower draw. Uh, Focus, now he's a winner of the season already. He's kept his form nice enough. Another one that is a front runner. Uh, is focus. He's got Barrier 9, so that's going to be a little bit tricky for him, but he's a very fit horse, and we know how well Ricky Hughes' uh, horses are going this season. And the horse we're looking at here is um, Destin Jewelry. Now, Destin Jewelry is the one up on the inside uh, in the blue saddlecloth. He goes nicely with a couple of uh, stable mates there, so he looks like he's improved a bit. All right, plenty to take in. We've got plenty of races to have a look at here, including the last star winner in uh, Compassion Star. Focus uh, also engaged uh, on this occasion, but um, can he go back to back? Yeah, delivered his favourite on this uh, occasion at Compassion Star, beating home uh, Focus. Uh, Focus in the end was beaten five links. He went round at 8.9 in the market, thought it was a pretty good run. Early lead, then crossed him at the 800 metres in the end, uh, raced away from them. Uh, Focus, he was three wide, no cover early. and Had to do a little bit of work in that run, I thought, last time out. Yeah, I've got them both. I thought Compassion Star, since he's been gone to Manfred Mann, he's had a few starts for the new stable, has been really consistent and, you know, it kept off with a nice win last mm. time. Yeah, he's been working towards that second, third yeah. before that win. Uh, Placlone I didn't mind, but the speed map's got him a long way back. Um, Shimmer and Shine, the other one engaged here. Yeah, know, Placlone is a horse that um, has trialled well and has worked well, probably worked well more than trialled well. Uh, his, his fourth behind Shushan is probably his best run so far. He's got Barrett 12, so that worries me a little bit. And the other one, uh, Simmer and Shine, looked a really nice horse, is a younger horse, but he's lost his way and he's mm. had internal, he bled track work as well. Yeah, he's totally out of form. Placlone there was actually promoted because he got castled at the, the top of the straight by one of the other runners in the race, so it wasn't a bad effort really from him, but gate 12 was a bit of a negative. All right, California Rad, you can see covering some ground as they swing into the straights um, here, but he's another one that's been very consistent. Yeah, this was a, a game run from him uh, behind, uh, good for you, wide, no cover throughout, loomed up, and then he was just knocked off late by good for you, who was uh, challenging him here. Uh, on the outside, so I thought it was really a, a brilliant effort from him. Tony Pacom was on board uh, this occasion. Joe Marrera, gate number two. As long as that effort there hasn't knocked the stuffing out of him, there's actually quite a few horses backing up from last Wednesday night on tomorrow night's programme. He's a, a leading light. Yeah, any sort of run, he should have won that race. Mm. Yeah, he's odds on favourite to get some compensation here. Um, Speed-wise, fantastic. Fabio engaged uh, in the race. He'll jump from barrier 10, but uh, Alfie Chan also taking 10 pounds off his back. Yeah, no, he's, um, there is a bit of pace underneath him, but I think he can get to the lead, this horse. He set up some pretty strong sectionals, Master Albert and uh, the other horse down the outside, Simply Fluke, uh, did, did catch him. But it was a good run from him, I thought. He's quite well rated now. He's down in Class 4. So I haven't given him away. I found a spot for him. Yeah, it is interesting. They've taken the, the blinkers off because all those wins have pretty much been without the blinkers, I think, looking back through his uh, records. So uh, gate number 10, he'll push forward, to, no doubt. I guess it's just how much he has to do from there uh, with the, the rail out. All right. Um, but odds on about uh, California Rad. Are you with him, Paul? Yeah, I am. I just thought it was such a good run last time. He... Got no run and he should have won. That's the question is that. So uh, he's a son of Fastnet Rock as uh, California Rad. He's got Barry number two. He's got all the favours this time, so he should win. I thought on the back of his last start. Second one is uh, Compassion Star. He's in great form. He's a last start winner. He'll be right on the pace. Zach Purton aboard as well. He'll take over some Sylvester de Souza. And uh, he's by bull bars this one. He's had... Um, very consistent since he's been with Manfred Mann. Fantastic Fabio 
back down in class four. That's his go, class four. Ten pounds off as well will help, so he'll have 118 pounds. And Focus, the other one, uh, now Focus won three starts ago. He did have barrier one, uh, did Focus when he did win. He's got barrier nine, but just as a matter of how easy he can get across. But I didn't want to let him go. I kept him on a minor line. Four, five, two and eight, Tom. Thanks, Paul. I think that uh, California Rad should be uh, tough to beat uh, here for uh, Joe Marrera and uh, Tony Cruz. Uh, the stable's firing up nicely at the moment, so uh, I think he's the winner with the, the right run from uh, barrier number two. Focus, I think, is a, a must. He was able to win three runs ago. Not a bad effort from him uh, last time out. Compassion Star goes in for uh, Zach Purton and Manfred Mann. He's been consistent, capped that off with a, a win uh, last time out. And the other one in the mix is uh, Placlone. Uh, threw him in there from a wide stall. He'll need a, a little bit of luck. He'll get back and hopefully run on. So four, eight, five and nine. All right. So four and five, uh, my cue there in the third. Quick word, Paul, on Daily Delight, the first start of three trials coming into this. Yeah, 1,019 pounds. I thought his trials were just OK. Uh, maybe he's one of these horses that saves it for race day, but what I've seen so far, even though he's drawn three, he should get a nice run, I'm uh, more than happy just to uh, watch him. He trialled in New Zealand as well. He was there with uh, Bruce Wallace and uh, Grant Cooks. He had a, a first and a second at uh, Avondale, but would probably need to see him improve a little bit off those trials we've seen so far. All right, trained by Douglas White. That comes out with a good gate. He's 60 to 1, give or take, at the moment. All right, that's uh, race number three. Class 4, 1200 metres. Up in trip for our next. That's the first leg of the six up as well. 1800 metres for the first leg of the Triple Trio.